Hello everybody, I thought I would do a little vlog. If you didn't know, because I haven't properly been vlogging, but I have been tweeting about it, and I put it on Snapchat, so I'm thinking that quite a lot of people of you will know. I did an allergy test. This video isn't sponsored by the way, but I thought it would be interesting to show you my results. You guys will know if you watch my videos that I've been going on about how I think I'm allergic to something for a while now but I really didn't know what it was because I was getting reactions with so many different foods that I just couldn't pinpoint which one of them it was. So I decided to look online for a test and I came across the York test and they basically send you this pack and it comes with these little things to prick your fingers and you have to put the blood in these two containers that they send you as well and then send it back to them and within 10 days they will send you your results, they'll test them. So I did mine against 200 108 different types of foods and drinks and I just want to say before I start this all the way through this video I keep saying the word allergic and I found out after I was talking about this that allergic and intolerant are two very different things intolerant basically means that your body can't really deal with it like you have some digestive issues you can get rashes and itchy skin and redness you can bloat like that those are the kind of things that intolerances are and for me I just bloat up, my stomach goes like an absolute brick, but none of that is life-threatening to me, whereas with an allergy, that is life-threatening. So if you can deal with the fact that I'm being really annoying and I keep saying I'm allergic to stuff rather than intolerant to stuff, then keep watching this video. But yeah, I thought I would explain that is what it means. I'm not allergic to anything. Nothing puts my life in danger, but I am intolerant to these things. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just do a flashback to the past because I opened my results live and talked through them. So let's flash back to the past. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so I've got my results from my allergy test and I'm really nervous because I know that something affects me. You've seen it firsthand and I'm just nervous that it's going to say nothing. <laughs> You're allergic to nothing. But I'm also nervous of that because the things that seem to affect me are like correlate with IBS and I just don't want to have that. I want to actually be allergic to something so that I don't have to like deal with having IBS if that makes sense. I did an allergy test with York test and I did the 208 foods and drinks and what you had to do was prick your finger which literally <laughs> How long did it take <laughs> me? Forever, I literally had to pin her down to she do it. She had to pin me down to do it. I'm so nervous to prick my finger and there were tears. <laughs> but it didn't actually hurt as much as I thought it was going to. And then you have to like squeeze blood into this thing and you send two like test tubes of it. And then they test it. I'm actually nervous. Can you tell? <sighs> it wasn't all in my It wasn't all in my <laughs> Well, we'll go with the yellow section first. This is like mildly allergic. Cuttlefish, lamb, and I've never tried lamb. Chickpeas, you're doing it. sheep's milk, hazelnuts, peanuts, soya bean, and goat. Goat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my Sunday night goat down the drain. And then I am very allergic, which is in red, reaction. Plantain, peas. I love peas. <laughs> Egg yolk, gluten, wheat, yeast, goat's milk, egg white, cashews, and cow's milk. Freaking cow's milk, gluten, wheat, yeast, eggs, peas, everything. But don't you worry because I'm not allergic to dandelion and burdock mix. <laughs> I told you. All you haters out there like, oh, she's making it up. <laughs> Look, it gives me a card as well that says Miss Gabriella Lindley. Reactive foods here. Will it focus? so that I can take that to um, restaurants and show them. You will notice that you have a high number, 18, of reaction and borderline ingredients. Please do not be alarmed by this. We are here to help you manage changes to your diet within nutritional support provided as part of the service. What do you do now? Read your results alongside the enclosed literature. Book your nutritional therapist consultation. So basically, if you do this York test, you get um, to have a chat with a nutritionist so you can figure out like how to go forward. Peas, peas are like my favorite veg. I'm actually pissed off at that. Plantain, mm. how weird is that? I've never even eaten plantain. So does that mean that soya milk, cause it says soya bean, I'm borderline. Does that mean I shouldn't have soya milk? Can somebody answer me? Or is it soya beans that I shouldn't have? That's one to ask the nutritionist. 
Yeah, and ask the nutritionist that. Oh my god. Cashew, have you tried cashew milk? No, I've never tried cashew no. milk, but I don't like cashews, so it's fine. Cow's milk. Cow's milk, cashews. Cow's milk. So it's a real dairy thing, isn't it? Dairy, yeast, wheat and gluten. So I suppose if you have a, a nut, a nut-based drink, you know, from Starbucks or anything where they put nut flavouring on. Mm. If it's hazelnut, then it could Toffee be Toffee nut latte. Toffee, yeah. Well, I don't really eat feta anyway. I know, but in the rolls that you had the other day. Oh my God, yeah, I had spinach and feta rolls the other day. Mum and I made them. And how much did I blow up mm. after them? And what kind of milk is that? It was goats and sheep. Goat's milk. Well, there you bloody go. So, those are my results, guys. <laughs> I haven't been lying. <laughs> Do you know, some people said that I'm making it up. They're like, oh, she always says she's allergic to this and this and this and this. Well, yeah, because I didn't know what it was. And like, I kept eating things and different things would react to me. And I was like, well, it can't just be milk then, because I'm reacting to other things. Vodka based drinks. <gasps> Vodka? <laughs> That's the only <laughs> alcohol I drink. Oh, that's got gluten in it. Do you know what, though? I'm, I'm really happy that I know that now because now I can, like, with pasta, I can have gluten-free pasta because mm -hmm. I like that. I'm just going to have to proper cut dairy out now, aren't mm. I? And eggs. But that's fine because I don't really like eggs. I just you eat, eat them, them if I have, have to. Yeah. yeah. But, obviously but I don't really so like them. But you know, after the breakfast we had today, me and mum just went out for a breakfast. And I was going to say after I feel really bloated after that breakfast, and that was eggs. Mm. So I'm going to have to take this to my Slimming World consultation tomorrow. <laughs> Can't have these things. No, that's, that's the point. Time. That's, yeah. that's good though. Mum and I are going to join Slimming World. But no, you are. Well, Mum's following it too, because I, I want to get a better relationship with food and that can like kind of help you focus on stuff. So I'm going to a consultation tomorrow. I'm going to one of their meetings. Bit nervous, not going to lie. But now at least I can take this with me and say, well, I can't eat these things. We've got to go because I've got a viewing in a second. So we better skedaddle, but I wanted you to get my live reaction to this. Everyone seems to have been really interested and I'll show you the piece of paper. This is mine. There you go. That is everything. I will talk to you more about this at a later date because we are going out now. So hummus I can't have. Mm. Chickpeas, your dad's got a real bad reaction. I know, dad chickpeas. tells me every bloody, every time I go home, oh, I can't eat chickpeas. <laughs> <laughs> Literally get that chat every time I go home. <laughs> Chickpeas give me a real issue. <laughs> Literally every time. What else can't you have? Chickpeas and what is it? Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Can't have sweet corn either. <laughs> there you go. I can have sweet corn, but I can't have peas. I'm sad about that. They're the only green thing I actually like. And now we are here. I have officially cut gluten, yeast, wheat dairy, eggs, peas, pretty much everything on the list out of my diet for the last like three-ish days because I got the results about three days ago and I feel amazing. I'm not bloated at all. Like I've had no bloat whatsoever and it feels amazing to just not have to have that in my life anymore. When I was bloated, I could put on like six pounds worth of bloat, just my body like not dealing with that food and I always felt so big but I didn't look it. Obviously my stomach did but when I was wearing clothes I kind of just looked the same as every other day. It's more on the inside. I felt so huge and that was triggering my anxiety because I couldn't fit in my clothes. I didn't want to go outside and see people people because I thought they were all like judging me. Those are my personal issues. I have a lot of issues with anxiety but it is so nice to not feel bloated and now that I know exactly what it is that triggers my body into those kind of things. I feel 10 times better. With the whole gluten thing, I was finding that when I had dairy, I would bloat up. But whenever I had gluten, I would feel so tired. Like sometimes I would feel so tired after I'd had like a sandwich that I would have to go and have a nap because I felt like my body just could not stay awake. And I can't even tell you how much better I feel. I have so much more energy. I'm just not bloated. I just feel incredible. So I am so happy happy that I did that test. It also comes with a little card. I don't know if I said it in the flashbacks. I haven't watched it in like three days, but it comes with a little card that you can take to restaurants that I've got all the main things that you have a reaction with on it. So I'm going to make sure I take that. And that's good for if I ever go on holiday or something, I could take it over there and be like, is any of this in these meals? Just to make sure that I'm not eating it because I want to cut it out of my diet for a good month or two 
see how I'm feeling and maybe slowly introduce stuff. I haven't really decided that. I'll decide that later on but yeah right now i'm just so happy that i did it and i'm basically uploading this vlog for any of you guys who've been interested in the journey i've had a lot of people tweet me who want to know like what my results are or how it's gone what you have to do etc you can do allergy tests through the doctors if you want to do that obviously the york tests are quite expensive you can get referred by your doctor to have it done it will just take a longer amount of time and i really wanted to have mine now because I just felt so incredibly awful with every single thing that I was eating even things like chickpeas and stuff which are borderline for me when I was eating healthier I was eating loads of hummus and I still felt horrible and that is why so yeah it's very interesting to find out yeah let me know if you've liked this video if you found it helpful I will be returning with vlogs very very soon my mum actually leaves on Saturday today for me is Thursday and I never feel like I can vlog when anybody's in my flat <laughs> once my mum has left I'm sure I'll get back onto the vlogging bandwagon but yeah as I said give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or you found it helpful and I will see you when I'm back to vlogging which will be very soon Bye.